I don't think I've ever seen him make a Necro or a Frostworm. I have seen him, indeed, make one or two Gargoyles in my lifetime. But it's very rare. Team Hunter first start for one, two, uh, for Lawlight. On the right map, I could even see a Warden by him. Warden Solo or Warden Panda. But this is certainly not a map for the Warden. Creeping is too tough here. That pool does not work out. That's the first little fail of the game. And a great start for the Demon Hunter here. Ring of Protection. He could go Immolation if he wants. Creep the green camp here and get level 2. Achieved on both sides. It's a lot of ghouls right here. Always gotta be careful about the possibility of surround. Team Hunter normally really wants the boots of speed. There are some exceptions to this. Especially Kaho, amazingly, is able to play quite well often without boots. Very well, actually. Uh, Archer is caught and there is a dust first kill oh no light here interesting he's sending all the wisps out of the main base does not want to have them bullied and threatened by the ghouls interesting losing uh, he's leaving two wisps behind but only two oh don't want to get the next Archer surrounded, but she is indeed, and there's no healing her. Simulation? Okay, there we go. Yeah, can't save her. Too much damage from all the ghouls. Locking in the ghouls now with the archers here, that's kind of cool. Do you mind looking for some return kills? Lost two archers, but might be able to kill two ghouls. Uh, now in danger of getting surrounded himself. Good micro here by 1 to 0 as well. Sending the ghoul back home. Oh, misclick on the coil. Whoops. But the ghoul still safe. Very good saves here by 1 to 0, especially if he saves this one. Uh, the demon wants it. He wants it bad. Gets in front. I guess that should be the kill then. Oh, and we got a Naga. Hello. Tier 2 just finished. That's going to be at least one more ghoul going down. Ooh, 1 to 0. How many can kill? It's 3 ghouls. This is going to be 4 ghouls. This is amazing for Lola. Turning this around. Detonate now as well. Some skellies taken out. And this is a, player's forces are under attack. a wonderful turnaround by Lola. Really, really well done. Those ghoul kills matter a lot. We now have only six ghouls left. And here comes number seven. Wisps can now be sent back into the main base. It is again safe back home. And the level three level up here as well. I 
I guess this should take the Demon Hunter a lot of moon juice to heal up again. He's got one moon gone in the back, still full. That's good. Still struggling a bit with his own mana, ironically. A player's forces are under attack. down yet. The item is ah, it's it's pretty unlucky. That's not if you always want to have tank items, heal items for the demon. We got the ring, which is good, but honestly, he doesn't have that much. Okay, no deny here. Full experience. Lich got level 2 with the natural creep. We're now going to try to get the red camp, but the demon is right there. Don't think that's going to work. And Lawlight is up by one level here. Bears around the corner as well. Lawlight's going to be the one to pull the ogre first. It's always dangerous here because the trappers are left behind. They can ensnare your units. They can put you in a very awkward spot. There's no deny, by the way, guys. I checked. When you hit F9, you can see what the last hits. Oh, the manor. About to be surrounded, maybe. Wiggles out for a little while. Naga slow now though, very painful, but he still gets away, and lots of mana burned. Lich dry, DK dry. What is there? Has to get the Ogre Magi now, the Ogre Lord, and he will. Okay, big item, lots of great items here, possible. Medallion of Courage, that is a great item for the Lich and Naga. Slippers for the demon here, also very nice. Master training is about to be done. No orb yet for Lawlight. He couldn't afford it yet. He's a bit too broke. Rejuvenation is running for a long time. Didn't get the spell here for a while. There's a staff ready for the demon so he can heal up. But that's it for the moon juice. Still no gold for the orb. Wellspring already. Getting a Moonstone here might be a good idea. All right now, at 50, can afford some more items. Moonstone, please. Nope. Okay. A player's forces are under attack. Now, finally, we have the Orb of Venom. This is going to add in a lot more damage to the Night Elf army and especially to the Demon Hunter. Getting focused very heavily here. Always when the Demon runs in. Getting targeted. And there's no radio for him, right? Or is there? Ah, this bear could radio him. There we go, Moonstone finally. A player's forces are under attack. And what is there is looking better and better on his levels? Items we just found the Tasman uh, of Evasion and the Belt. Those are both kind of bad to be honest. You want to have damage and mana and auras. Good item over here as well. We get the Rune Bracers. Oh my, that is the perfect item. You can see how much focus was going on the Demon Hunter this whole game. This now is going to protect the Demon Hunter very, very well. Also close to level 4. Naga going to get level 3 here. And Lawlight expanding. Cheeky cheeky. At 50. Not 
stabbed home early. Oh, Nova hitting his face. Good thing he's got those wound braces. It looks like Fortnite also quite good against the ghouls. Yuma running back and forth, serving as distraction most of the time to draw fire. It's the archers and the dryad so far doing the most damage. A little bit of nice fork like me coming in as well. Oh, Boro is quite nice right now. There's no shot to get dust at the moment. Well, all I am. They're always targeting the B mana. All the time. Mana's low now. Mana's low absolutely everywhere. Ooh, and the Demon Hunter finds himself on less than 50 HP. Hunters are trying to close up the game here rather early. Riot's now getting wrecked as well. A good follow line for a while, but now he is in deep, deep trouble. Supply lead. On the undead side, Colnova again, the Miner's still alive, staff back once more. Finally receiving a rejuve again, but all I have is so broke. He's got very few units. The Naga. Trying to catch some reinforcements here, a little bit late. Getting the Fiend. And of course the statue is now always the blessing for undead. Having these statues to heal up over time. Get some bears returning from the fountain. When they get focused, they lose HP very quickly. You're losing HP so quick. Windows is a big help, but there's not much of it right now. A player's force. Oh, they're trying to push back the undead forces. But another bear goes down. We have so many feats. Five of them on the field. Can't get killed because there's no dust. There's no wisp at the lab, unfortunately, for all I have. Staff out once more, a little bit more healing. The matter is somewhat in the green again, but it's so many dry and bears always dying over and over. Archer could go to the lab, but right now the focus, the attention is on this fight. Oh, DK though, getting blocked with the bear in front. Is there no abolish? There's abolish. The bear goes down, the invul saves the death knight. Now, now very hurt as well. DK, who? Right on the edge. Same for the demon. Fresh bear. Rejuve is available. Archer and bear both at the lab. But couldn't get the burrow kills. But Lola has one trump card. And that is the expansion. Which has not been scouted yet. And has not been anticipated yet. Onzer is only thinking about microing his army. He's not thinking about an expansion right now I think. Staff. Oof. The moon juice here seemed to save Lolliot. Got a lot of healing from it, crucially important. And finally gets the shop. Now he can go for clarities and a dust of appearance at long last. And a second orb. Oh. That's kind of unusual. We we'll also go for a second staff. Goes down. Staff. I mean, uh, staff was used. Staff now on cooldown. But also, who's going down fairly quickly? Going for the fiend kills next. There's not enough mana for any, unfortunately, for him. Needs to be a mana burn on the DK before the coil. Oh, all right. That's that's kind of sloppy. That could have been prevented pretty easily. I did find some kills though, supplies very even. The expansion is still running. One to zero. If you lose this game, it will be because he didn't find the expo in time. I think the all light space build here is also not quite perfect. You normally want to have room behind the moon wells for a shop. 
That's not the case this time for Lawlight, so he has to make the shop outside where it's easy to be destroyed. Thank you, Noisy Bucky, with the resub. But one of those levels are very, very good now. 4 4 3 on the trio. Demon Hunter would love to get level 5. That's an incredibly powerful level on the demon. He just bought the Periat, by the way. A no invul potion. Are under attack. Periat is a very good item on the demon. And now the light has some much needed time. Time to gather gold. More and more gold streaming in from the expansion. Quantum Zero is trying to fall behind in supply. Because he just didn't think of it. Didn't think that Allied would be so bold as to expand on 50, but indeed he was, indeed he did. The player's forces are under attack. Then again, supplies even right now. I wants to go for a bear drop. It's been spotted though. Would love to take out the haunted gold mine. But if he can't manage that, at least he wants to buy time. Which he is doing successfully. If the Zeppelin gets webbed, this could be very, very dangerous. My ass to the staff and TP. TP? He wanted to get the fork lightning out. <laughs> if there was a coil, she would have been dead. One to zero can still win this game. If he destroys the expansion, this game might still be his. Well, light supply isn't that high considering he's had this expansion for so long. We are both at 65. Bringing wisps for the detonates. I like that. Only three bears and a ton of dryads. First bear saved with the staff. All I trying to get as many mana burns out as he can. Let's once more. And now come the wisps. More mana drink. Mana burn all over the place. He has a one of mana steel he could still use. And it seems like all I never really has the army to properly engage. Another level up. Two bear kills here. Naga now level four. DK four and a half. A town is under siege. Lawlight with a valiant effort this game, with a very smart, sneaky expansion. But I think one of them might still have just enough. Just too much, I suppose. Drives die so fast when they get focused. Even have an expansion now. On the other side of the map, all I know is... And the simple fact is, Lola is just losing way more. Losing way more units than 1 to 0 is. Naga in trouble right away. Potion used to save her. TP not forced yet. DK, speaking of which, has a TP as well. Almost forced to pull it. Oh, oh I'm in here. I see the kill against him. Law Light all of a sudden. Whoa! Getting a bunch of kills with the immolation. Finding another fiend in the ground. Lots of destroyers though, still very healthy. Naga used the heal shield there, I think, to shrug off the damage from the coil. It is a strong demon. Very strong with these items. Law Light does not want to give this up yet. 
Level 5, as I said. Level 5, always insanely good. And Light managed to force the TP away. Damn! Well done, Law Light. Almost getting the Naga kill as well. That one just barely gets away. Oh, and the bear got the cancel on the expo. But Law Light's still down in supply. Still, he lost more than 1 to 0. However, 20 of that supply is bound up in these destroyers, which are not a big help against heroes or against dryads. Main base has expired. All right, Lolite. If you can hold one or two more times, this should be his game. In this potion. Oh. Demon gonna scout. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. But perhaps reacting a little bit slowly. Naga caught on the backside. Make this fire towards her right away. She has potions and plenty of them. The DK has a roll as well. It's going to be necessary soon. Getting the bear kill, getting level 5. No level 5 yet on him. Players forces are under attack. More buildings being sold. Last bit of money being used. Bunch of potions on these heroes. They're almost level 5. You can smell it already. DK out of mana, but he has a potion still. And a one of mana still, so there's a bunch of coils you can still use. And Hunter needs to be staffed. Naga tanking a lot of damage here. And it's nighttime. We get a lot of Moonju's region. Thanks to the Ultra Vision. Lots of healing available there for the Demon Hunter. Which one kill away from level 5. Feed survives, can heal up now. The Lich just got level 5. One more archer kill was enough. Coil Nova on the Naga. Tons of mana, tons of damage there, I mean. And she cannot survive. No second staff to save her. The Naga goes down. That means no staff for the Demon Hunter either. And with that, it looks like 1 to 0 did just enough. Lola, it's so close to winning this game, but. Couldn't quite. Expansion now. Going down. The strong undead heroes still on the field. And a bunch of statues to heal him up as well. Only five buildings left in the main base. That seems to be enough. If only the demon was level five. If he had if he had reached level five a while ago. I would have certainly expected this go to all its way. Now I'm still dead for a while here. Ooh, bracers, man. Ooh, bracers are a heaven sent. Now the mana is indeed very low on the heroes. Mana burned a little bit too late. Could not get rid of the next coil. The mana healing up again. Moon juice is still looking tremendous. Well, not much juice in there, but it's always regening very well. Even the Ancients of Lore are helping out. Trying to take out the destroyers. It's about heroes in the end. It doesn't matter if the feet, if the Dryads die, if the Destros die. It's all about the heroes at the end of the day. And right now it's three heroes versus one. It doesn't even seem fair. He's getting slowed. He's getting kited. Level 2, Cold Arrow. It's really good as well. Naga finally back, but finds herself in a rough position. And again. Oh, almost dead right away. 
Mana shield to save her, but the demon finally goes down. And that is game. Quite a long game. 26 minutes. 1 to 0 takes it. Takes the 1 0 lead in our series. Thank you, Curly Bad Laser, with the resub. Much, much appreciated. What is there? They're almost falling because he didn't find the expansion for so long. But able to trade really well over the course of this game. Still winning in the end. Autumn Leaves will be map number two. And Cam talked about expansions earlier. Expansions on the undead side. That is something that we didn't have to consider there at all on the first map. Because it is a bad map for undead fast expansion. This map is much more doable. We've seen Happy attempt it. We've seen Lavi attempt it. But when Lavi tried against 1 to 0. Against the low light, I, th I think you failed with it, right? I think so. And what is this? Ancient of War for low light at the natural. This normally means keeper, right? Is he really going to play Keeper first against Undead? Or perhaps just still Demon Hunter? Okay, it is Demon Hunter. It's kind of a difficult early game camp, which is why I was thinking of Keeper here. Seems like Olai wants to open up the natural quickly to be able to counter expand if necessary. You can get very lucky from this camp, by the way. But it's. It is very unlikely. But if you get. Uh, Slippers of Agility and. I mean, uh, Tome of Agi. You get plus 5 Agi from this small camp, which is crazy. But. For that, the stars have to align. A player's forces are under and out comes the DK. No sacrificial skull. So it looks like what Happy is now very interested in fast expo play. 1 to 0 doesn't seem to be. Oh, he lost the Acolyte, by the way. It's kind of a big mistake. This means Demon gets level 2 instantly in this camp. One aggression, apparently. Huh? Needs a bit more lumber for the tech. Oh! Gets one wisp kill. Getting closer to the level up thanks to that. Now we can tech. No lie, it has not started the tech yet. Lots of wisps in the main base that we'll be trying to save. The ghouls don't look like that big of a threat just yet. Good defense so far by Lawlight, losing almost nothing. 
one wisp there goes down, but detonated. And gets another ghoul. Back here, all the wisps are safe. This push is not looking as scary as we've seen it before by Happy. Oh, another ghoul sent in to suicide. Seems like 1-0 is kind of messing up this push. A little bit. I'm not really getting much done here. Good start for all I very good start. Experience difference is gigantic. A player's forces are under attack. Demon Hunter levels make all the difference in the end. If he gets level 4 quickly, if he gets level 5 in a timely manner, he's really, really strong. Agreed by Lawlight, expecting the undead up here at the creep camp. And now can come in with a level 2 burns. And there's some hurt ghouls here as well. One last hit. Goes to the DK, but Demon gets the item. Loves of haste. The Naga will be very well equipped later on. And another ghoul kill. That's four ghoul kills, I think, in the early game. Trying to surround him, but I don't know if that is the fight that you want to take. Nice movement with the Skelly. But the demon fights out. <laughs> and he's the one perhaps looking for the next kill. Uh, with the Naga at the lab with a Shredder as well. This is... You can't hope for more than this if you're Lolli. This is the perfect start. Yeah. The next big camp as well. Lich still not quite out. What a difference! To the first map, or at least the end of it. One zero will again become look stronger on tier three, but that is still somewhat far away. No question that Nolite has a huge lead here. Look at him. He's close to level four already. We're seven minutes in. He's about to get it. Oh, Archer's there just narrowly. Avoiding their demise, escaping it. A player's forces are under attack. A little bit of mana burn once more. What is there not able to steal the item here? And there's the God damn! No mana items on the undead hero, so no coil nova available right now. It is a lawlight with a mana stone, which he might be selling. A player's forces are under attack. The one thing he's missing is the ring of protection. Would really love to get some bonus armor. Oh, and there he has it. Ring picked up. Wonderful. Moon juice pretty low now. Well, like making a lot of moon wells early. Once you get a lot of moon juice running, also again early wellspring, so there will be 
Lots of juice indeed. It served him well on the first map, even if he didn't quite win. And Naga level 3. Also, quite fast. At 9 minutes, that's actually very fast for a Naga. This game is just perfect from start to finish so far. Well, I guess we're not going to finish yet, but yeah, this is a terrific early game. 1-0 trying to line up a push. Demon staffed home early, Moonstone right away, Potion right away. And he's got the orb as well. Again, heavy focus on the Demonstra. All the time we see this by 1-0. Naga has two Fork Lightnings perhaps ready. Mission of War also helping out a bit here. In this defense, Rejuvenation needs to be dispelled. Destroyer is morphed. Rejub is in, and the Naga is dead right away. Rejub didn't actually get dispelled, and so we come to a quick end on map number two. All right, takes it, ties it up, one one. Took us just ten minutes, and yeah, that was just the perfect early, absolutely perfect. One to zero here, looking a bit toothless, going for that first attack and. Not achieving anything with it. Kind of fumbling a bit with that, I want to say. It's always risky when you go for this level 1 aggression and you don't get enough kills. You don't get level 2. When we see Happy do this, he always gets the kills. He always gets level 2. He keeps killing. He uses the coil. He heals and kills and keeps snowballing. But uh, not everyone can do it the same way as Happy. Even 1-2-0, an undead legend is not always perfect. So we're nice and tied up. We're gonna go to map number three here with a 1-1 score. And that is gonna be springtime. We've almost not seen this map at all so far this tournament. It's been getting vetoed a lot. Now, finally, we do get to see it. Springtime, also a map possible to play fast expo on for Undead. But so far, it has looked like 1 to 0 doesn't really care for the fast expansion. Let's see if that stays true here. What is this? Oh, what is this? Lolite with a neutral hero opening. Uh huh. Well, well, well. Lolite getting creative here on map three. Looks like he wants to take the natural early and then expand quickly. Beastmaster is a possibility. Panda is a possibility. Dark Ranger was played in the past, but Dark Ranger hasn't lost, hasn't looked good for a long time. Oh, and the Fire Lord, of course. Chad, you're right. I forgot about the Fire Lord. Fire Lord seems to be the most likely candidate. But Wonder Zero is going to scout this, and when he does, he can come to harass with a DK pretty easily. So how is Lolliot going to deal with that? If the DK comes to harass, he might just creep the green camp instead. We're about to find out. 1 to 0, checking the Merc camp. Nothing here. Well, and now he's wondering, what's going on here? Because normally the Engine of War is here, but there was no Engine of War there. It's also not here. So most likely it should be here then. But he hasn't confirmed it yet. One to 
Sometimes there has to play aggressively to make sure the expo doesn't get cleared too early. It's a panda first indeed. This is not the first time the light is playing this. I've seen this by him before a number of times. Also against Happy. I think I've only seen him lose so far, but it's been really close. The, uh, the, the, the key thing I took from those games was if the panda gets level 5, he is a beast. But you need level 5. So I think it's going to be all about creeping here. Very aggressive start to the game. Attacking the Knight of Main Base on level 1 already. Archer's here taking some damage. Panda doesn't get the kill on the Ghoul. Panda, of course, is a lot slower than the Demon Hunter, so it's difficult for him to chase for these kills. And Lawlight is bringing... I mean, one of those bringing tons of Ghouls. Zero experience so far. Wait, it's passive first. What? 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 Bro. It's like 10% crit chance and 7% evasion chance. That's pretty weird. I mean, Breath of Fire is pretty damn good against ghouls, dude. What the heck? Baiting with the Hunter's Hall. It's still zero experience on both sides. Let's compare the tech. And the tech is far ahead. Last hit, go to the panda. There we go. First bit of experience. Gloves the face. With that, now we can try to crit more. Oh, nice little block here. Alright then. People in the chat saying Lolite's trolling. I think this panda has more potential than some people might think. I've seen this panda played really well in the past. Panda first and Naga second can have crazy AoE. But yeah, in the late game, when we are at 60 supply, 70 supply, this panda has to be level 5. Oh, big last hit. Right here. Ooh, goes to the panda. Level 2. Would be very funny if now he goes Drunken Hands, but no. It is Breath of Fire. Finally. There's also Naga second. Oh, and with that, Wardeser could find a lot of kills here. Archer's all trapped in the back next to the trees. Wait, there's no dust? What? Wardeser didn't bring the dust when trying to kill the archers. Whoops, I guess he forgot. Double gloves for the panda. Not exactly amazing, but he's gonna take it. Naga got one archer kill so far. Yeah, the light is winning this engagement here. But the Naga Cold Arrow is still very strong here this early in the game. Will force the TP. Oh, bro. Oof. Didn't quite have enough mana for the breath. Fire. Now we got level 3 from the last creep. I think the panda needs boots though. Otherwise he's just going to get kited too easily by this naga. Death Knight level 1 only. I think I prefer Lawlight's spot here. Terrible Vitality. Meh. I don't think that's very good. DK! Breath! <laughs> Crit into Breath! 
Got him. And look at that. Panda almost level four. Yo, Lola, you got this. Dude, it's almost a three level difference between the first heroes. I'm fine with a level one ghoul aggression early on, but that ghoul attack here without dust was very strange. If you want to hunt archers, you need dust. Thank you, Saliano, with the reset. Unfortunately for Lawlight, he doesn't have a Ancient of War anymore, so creeping now is a little bit difficult. It's getting bonus experience here, being solo hero only for this long. Got a last here. That's nice. Once you're level 5 Panda, by the way, you can harass the main base for the undead. You can use Breath of Fire against the Ziggurats, and that costs a ton of resources to repair. All I with a Panda solo strat, bro. Really cool. Look at 1 to 0. He's got double level 2 heroes. This is a terrible position for him. Double parry up. Panda, very high HP. I still don't think that's really good, but it is something. Only missing 100 experience now from the level up. Staff home. AP was set up defensively. Wisp repair is way too late. One hit score available on the DK. AP, I think, also a little bit too far up in front, right? Shouldn't it have been back here? I think so. AP back here, Wisps over here, easy repair. Well, has a big army here. It's a great thing about Solo Hero. Hero only takes 5 supply, and then a lot of bears and riots can be made for the 50. Panda needs one more ghoul only. One ghoul or one fiend for level 5. Bitch. Ooh, almost going down just to the normal units. And level five. There we go. Panda now ready for the big burns. And now the light could go for... Uh, Invis potions. Go to the shop, Invis potion, and then harass Ziggurats. It's nice that you also use the Moonstone, so right now it's difficult to see. And now the light, I think, could just go for an expansion. There we go. Invis potion. I know my panda first. Zero though, creeping well in the middle, finally catching up on the experience. He was way too far behind for too long. Gonna get some crucial level ups here. Big Breath of Fire, baby. This pet is gonna have sick damage this game, by the way. In the post game, you know? And the Acolytes can't repair! Is under siege. What is they're trying to counterattack, force the panda back home? <laughs> but this haunted is probably just going to go down. Ah, never mind. Panda does feel the need to stab home. Breath of Fire is doing such, such sick damage, dude. Look at the lich! Almost dead! Hoi! One more crit! And the potion, though. Panda also has an involved. Oh, look at the damage of the statues. Breath of Fire is so good against statues on level 3. Panda is pretty hurt now. 
Playing around the Breath of Fire cooldown, of course. Statue's all about to drop, though. We got one more Breath of Fire. Panda. Uh-oh. Don't want to die, though. He doesn't die yet. Oi! Look at that damage, baby. Almost 1300 HP on this panda. But he's lacking healing right now. Statue denied. Heal potion used. Looks like everything is kind of hurt. Ooh, another big breath of fire. Damn, baby, look at that damage. And again, waiting for the cooldown. Another big breath of fire. Burrow here is also helping out. Rejuve now. Really good. Healing up the panda. But it takes a bunch of rejuves to fully heal him. We have two more breaths of fire. There's one. Ooh, baby. And now, time to find some kills, maybe. Oh, look at the bear up here. Ha! Gets a statue as well. One more breath. The Naga. Wait! Ooh, almost caught by the breath. Almost clipped her. Oh, and the Lich as well. Watch as zero leaves the game. GG. Lawliad wins with the Panda first. 19,500 damage on the bad boy. That was pretty cool. Lovely Panda first game. Against which Watch zero didn't really play... Ideally, to be honest. That was um, far from perfect. Lol I had here taking the lead in the series. Two to one. Alright. Next map is gonna be Hammer of Fall. If Lolai wants to continue being creative. Hammerfall is a great map for Fire Lord. Fire Lord isn't really popular right now. He does not exactly look like the best hero, but on some maps, in some games, can be a viable choice. Let's see. Map number three. Ah, uh, making an altar first. Boo! Boo, Lolliot, boo. What is this? Okay. Ah, uh, no panda, no fire lord. Yeah, I told you guys. Panda is better than some people think. Once the pan has level 5, his damage output is crazy. Chad is hoping for a warden. Would be a treat. Lawlight is of course legendary with the warden. And on some maps, we still see her against Undead, but normally not on this one. It's the standard as can be, Dima Hunter, and on the Undead side as well, DK Ghouls. So this is all looking very familiar. Very much unlike two days ago, we have seen almost no expansion play in this series. After this series, by the way, we're gonna have one more best of five. Man, what does those acolyte pulls are not working at all? I 
think this is a big mistake. Again, this means the mana is going to get a level 2 right away from this camp. But what I was saying, um, after this game, we're going to have one more best of five with Happy versus Labby. And there I could see more expansions. Oh! Speaking of which, One Zero now seems willing to try an expansion. One detonate comes through, but there's still some blight left. And the Demon Hunter is taking a long time to get up here. We'll get level 2 when the Archer finishes the camp. But most of the camp is already gone. Alright, Demon Hunter, how much can he do here? Gets a level 2, coming in for the detonate. Uh, holding it. Mana burn. Big last hit. And the DK gets it. And the Ziggurat is slowly coming up. Oh, nice save on the Acolyte. Just barely. Oh. Skelly expired. Demon gets out. Acolyte doomed. But that's okay for 1 to 0. Ziggurat is finishing. He doesn't even have to commit to the expansion. He could just tech instead. Ooh. Almost surrounded again. Lawlight going for the counter expo. And delaying the tech a lot. Probably gonna go for boots or staff or both here. Once they're on the way for the counter. Bringing a bunch of ghouls. He's expecting a tree of life here and he's absolutely right. They're right on the money. Ward sees everything. He now has one mana burn he could use. Oh, Wisp is here for the detonate. Uh, getting forced away. One is there. Not sure if he can get the expo cast. It might be too late now. Tree of Life still not harmed and progressing. Two more ghouls go down here. I think that makes three ghoul losses total. That's not that much, especially when we're talking about expansion game. And the hunter here living a bit of a dangerous life. But the ring protects him, the circlet as well. But this expansion is finishing. Sold the TP, by the way. So Team Hunter has to keep that in mind. That's a bit dangerous. Tech starts now. I think one of those techs shouldn't even be too far behind. Not sure who's favored here. I think it's kind of difficult to tell right now. A player's forces are under attack. Tree of Life taking a long time. <laughs> the pig blocking him makes him take even longer. Blocking him a second time. <laughs> the pig is teasing. It's real life. The amount of getting close to level 3. Valuable experience now from this camp. 1 to 0 creeping in the center. Very important consumables from these four warlords. is going for a shredder here. Oh my. Scroll of the Beast. Rather weak. But the Demon Hunter is rather strong. Just got the level 3. Question is, what will the second hero be? Naga or Panda. We've seen both in the past. I'm always a big fan of Panda, I gotta say. In two base, two base. Both have sentry wards, so tons of vision on the map. A player's forces are under attack. We do see the Panda seconds. Death Knight. Only level 2 still, but I guess this camp should lead him to level 3. 
Well, I can return the favor and now steal the enemy lab away, get the shredder as well. Let's go to beast also for him, so we keep things fair. Oh, look at the DK. Hiding around the corner. Ah, I couldn't quite get the coil. Alright, well, I just started mining. Of course, the Undead Expo here clearly ahead by around 800 gold. But the Knight of Tech is faster. And the Pan is off to a good start with Creeping. You want to level him up as quickly as you can, of course. Fire secures the kill. Circle found. And bought, I guess. Find the DK is also able to find some kills. Uh, was that a fiend dying here? I think there was a fiend going down. All right here with infinite lumber, thanks to the shredder. On the way to tier 3 as well, but start uh, late with starting production. One zero has a big supply lead already and might be able to hit a swift tier 3 timing. The question is, are we going to get Ancient of Wind? Are we going to get Anti-Air? The answer is yes. Bear and Crow army can be very, very strong late game. And there's also str two strong late game heroes, so the late game setup for Lawlight is pretty good here, but Wanted has a chance to finish the game early at around 65 70 supply. If he strikes then with heal scrolls and orb and tier 3, obviously, then uh, uh, Lawlight might not be ready and might not have big enough of an army yet. Ancient of Wind at the expansion. He managed level 4 already. Strong levels on him. Has level 2 immolation, by the way. Found the perfect item. Talisman of evasion. Pretty bold here with his movement, right? If he gets Nova surrounded, it lights out. Oh, Nova comes in just in time. There's a stab. Ah, that's why. That's why he was feeling so audacious. Which only level one so far. Not that impressive. But the tier three for one to zero is coming online and it's happening quick. The player's forces are under attack. Panda needs the level three. It's close. Let's get the item here as well. There is no Nova available, so couldn't steal it from range. Bad item, Book of the Dead, ain't no help against destroyers. Second hit for the fire, good damage. One ghoul does go down, the rest, I guess, should be fine. Pretty hurt, though. Low light now going into it. But of course, he is behind. The fire damage here from Immolation and Breath could do a good amount as well, though. Low light looking good now in this game. Isn't he? Up at 60 supply. Look at that damage. Damn, the Breath of Fire doing great work. Forces the heal scroll. That was the only one. But there is a second available in the shop. Sure, he will go for it. Indeed, he will. And we got crows on the way. A second shop coming at the expansion. Good game here by Lola. Looking really strong. Powerful demon hunter. Great items. And the panda did get that necessary level 3. Triple circlet. Did he buy two circlets? I think so. Jinto Red, red Wine. If Lolite holds here, he should be greatly favored. Cool setup. 
two moon wells, double ancient of wind. When Happy played against Panda second, he played Banshees with Curse and Anti Magic and Possession. 1 to 0 here playing a more classic Fiend Destroyer army with a Naga. We'll see if he's up to the task. Supply wise, we are very even. One bear is actually saved. One invuln on the Night Elf side, but no TP. That's a bit scary, perhaps, for Law Lion. Falling back, buying time, would love to delay until the destroyers have no mana anymore, but now he feels forced to engage. Panda lining up, the Dragon Age Brother Fire hits the ghoul, doing lots of damage. The Talon's trying to take out the destroyers, of course, as is their purpose. DK taking a lot of damage himself. Heal scroll necessary, the destroyers going down one and two. Naga in trouble as well, once they're here struggling to keep everything alive. Everything certainly will not survive, but the most important thing he's trying to save. Oh, and I clicked the end button there too fast. The DK was about to fall, and Law Lion is the winner. 1 to 0 gets eliminated. First round in the lower bracket. With that, only two undeads are left in the tournament. Law Lion coming into today as the underdog, but here did really well, and he will survive. Play on tomorrow when he faces Colorful.